that to record. Okay. So let me know in the chat box if you can hear me and see my screen. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. So um, I'm recording the class for anybody who joins in late, but I just want us to quickly get through this. So after you have been able to um, make your videos for your stuff, for your products and create your product page, the next thing you want to do is install your Facebook pixel. So um, I said, let me go. I said the plugin we use for that, will, it's called Pixel Your Site. Pixel Your Site. So you use um, Pixel Your Site to do that. To install your Pixel on the site. Okay. I also said that you need to take note of your thank you page link that will use it to create a custom conversion. Okay. So let me see if I, so I installed it. So you just need to go to the plugin and search this. You will see it in the former video from the last class to install this particular stuff. Then let's install the pixel to this site now. Let's get the pixel installed. So if you want to do that, you go to your Facebook, um, Let's go to Facebook. So we'll have to get a pixel code. So the pixel code is what we're going to paste on um, the pixel your site plugin. Then we're going to create what I call custom conversion. Okay. And to create a custom conversion, we need the link to the thank you page that we have initially created. Okay. So uh, I'm going to be using this ad account to test. Okay. So um, to actually get your pixel, what you need to do is once you get your ads manager like this, okay, once you get your ads manager like this, you click on this tool, this um, menu here, and you go to event manager. You go to event manager. So you go to event manager. Okay, we're having a bit of a slow network. Okay. Yes. So once you get to event manager right now, what you want to do is, um, 
create our pixel, okay? We want to create our pixel. So you connect a data source. That's what you want to click on. So a pixel is a data source. As I said before, I said we'll use it to get data. So what you do is click on this. You connect a data source for web, okay? It's not for app or for offline. No, it's for web. And you click on get started. So you do Facebook pixel. Okay, Facebook pixel. So you click on connect. So you name your pixel according to what you want. So I'm going to make this mine. So you're supposed to input your website URL here, but it's not really compulsory. So this is what I'll just put and I'll click on continue. Okay, so once I do that, the pixel will be created. So what I will need to do is, um, if you ask me either I use manually add pixel to websites or I use a partner integration. So what I'll just do is I will use a partner. Okay. And let me see, click on WordPress. So you select this, advanced matching. I'm trying to, this is new, but this you only select this advanced matching, but you can leave this here because you need to create access token. I don't know what this is, but select advanced matching, go. Um, we don't need all these basically. We don't need all these. All right. So um, I would click cancel here. Right. What we need is this pixel ID. Okay. This is what you need. You need this pixel ID. This is the ID that you need. So once you create it without even clicking this continue pixel setup, okay, what you need to do is just copy this pixel ID. We click on copy, copy, then we we'll go to our site. Then we click on this pixel, your site here. We click on the dashboard. Okay. So this is the Facebook pixel ID. So what we do is, um, in here. So once you paste the pixel ID in here. Okay. So what you do is go down and it's safe setting. So once you save setting the pixel for the site, is let me try and open the site so the pixel for the site is actually done okay the pixel for the site is done so let's imagine that this is my thank you page okay which i created my thank you page this is my thank you page so all you need to do is first do this okay um okay um yep so all you need to do is paste this id then we say creating custom conversion okay so what is custom conversion to start out with now if we are using a landing page and a form to get conversions okay facebook will not be able to know that anybody that fills the form is a purchase like it's an order okay because it's just like filling a form online it could be anything it could fill a form for so on a normal day if you're using like a, a, a um, an e-commerce plugin or you're using like Shopify, Facebook will only read purchases when people check out. That means they add to cart, they initiate checkout and they click on complete order, okay? But when you're using a form, Facebook would not really know that people that fill the form are really ordering for products. And you want them to know that these people are ordering for products so that your ad can optimize, okay? Because the more they know that, okay, that is what you want, you want them to fill the form, the more they can find more people to fill the form. So basically, custom conversion is telling Facebook that 
anybody who enters my thank you page has already ordered for my product okay so that's how simple it is that's why we need thank you page link so it shows facebook that anybody who enters my thank you page has ordered for my product so when you're running ads facebook will be able to read people that have ordered for your product as um like read people that have entered the thank you page as people that have ordered for your product so that's just simply it so after installing the pixel that is done here what you need to do is copy the thank you page uh link yeah go to your facebook let's try and reload this and see if um okay you can see active because i opened the site so the pixel is already firing okay so it, it's just saying no activity because this is like the first day but you can see last received two minutes ago so because i i loaded the main site so the pixel has already fired so you go to this side here see where i'm going to you click on this star stuff to create custom conversion so what you do is click on create so you name the custom conversion you can name it orders okay so that um you can name it anything actually but orders is still more you know close to purchase because you don't want to name it purchase so that you'll be able to differentiate it when you're running out i will show you what that means so we can name it orders okay so you want this to be all website traffic okay now choose a standard event you can leave this as facebook selected category okay so what you want to do is this rule yeah you want to paste your thank you page okay yeah you are your content then you paste then make sure you click on enter button or else this create button won't show okay so once you do that enter so you create so once you create that this is inactive so what you want to do is go back reload this page okay so we've reloaded it i've gone here so we load this page here so once we reload this page here you see it's already active so orders so you know the form redirects here so everybody that feels this it will count as a, a conversion because the form will redirect them to um this page okay hope we are getting it let me and get in the in the, in the chat box if we're getting it if we're getting it okay so the next thing now to do is once you have done this you can start to run your ads okay you can start to test your product how do you test your product basically testing is running a campaign that means running your ads before you actually order for your product or before you get your product to see if the product we test we will sell okay so basically we mostly run our ads before we order for any product to see if the product would sell and um you basically just need to run the ads for maybe like half a day okay half a day that is um 12 hours run the ads for 12 hours to see if it's going to pick up so once you see uh, a couple of orders once you see a couple of orders that looks good for you okay you can turn off the ad okay and bring in the products then you can resume the ad i means turn it back on so um I'm going to just run through i basically you can test the product and start running ads for starters i will say you start with um the um this is a narrow ad account i use narrow ad account because the funding is easy because finding a card for dollar account is not, is is an headache now but if you're using a dollar ad account use ten dollar if you're using a narrow ad account you can use four thousand naira. okay if you're using a dollar ad account use ten dollars to test that means it will run half a day. That means you run five dollar. But let your daily budget be ten dollars. If you are using the Nera own, use this. So this is what we want to do. I want to create a test order so you see how it runs. So click on create. You always choose conversion, okay? Always choose conversion. Then um, your sorry your sorry um your campaign creating your campaign might not show this way okay so don't get confused it's the same process just see what i'm doing because this is um this is not guided creation okay this is the fast way to create campaigns and this is how i set mine to show 
but yours might not show this way, but just follow um, the process. Okay, wherever you see what I'm clicking, just and where, where I'm writing, whatever. So you just um, try and it's the same thing, but it's showing different ways. So uh, that's it. So campaigns, I'm going to name this campaign. Um, let, me, let me test. So, but normally when you're naming your campaign, you can name it the name of your products then uh you know something like that something you can use to know the difference because if you name test and you're running under campaign would you name it test again too so you'll be able to know the products wherever okay so this i just put ad sets this i put ads click on continue okay so um this is what this is likely like what you're going to see once you're starting so what you want to do is make sure that you always turn on campaign budget optimization okay and as i said for naira account you make sure you change your budget so for naira account it's four thousand for dollar account you use ten dollars okay so once you do that make sure you turn that campaign budget optimization on so you put this then you click on ad set sorry you click on next if you're using the guided creation so this is what you need to see now this is the conversion you'll see this box conversion okay mm -hmm. so under conversion you see conversion event you can see that the event is set to others okay normally in your ad account you might see something like this okay choose an event so once you click on it you will see purchase complete this purchase you should always choose your custom conversion as your conversion event okay are you getting it we created you can see this now you are content server day blah 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 slash this is the thank you page we pasted okay mm -hmm. always choose your custom conversion the one you created as your conversion event it is very very important okay so once you click on that once you want you just go down um then location depends if you are you want to sell in a particular location like um lagos you can sell in lagos you can change this but you can also test nigeria so if it's just lagos make sure you edit this always change this to people living in this location okay people living in this location then um you can leave this at nigeria or if it's just lagos you can put lagos if it's any location uh you can put whatever location you choose okay so that will be your own, um, sorry, just, okay. That will be your own, your choice. But testing in Nigeria, I will advise you test with the own Nigeria, okay? Test with the own Nigeria. Because when you test with just Lagos, your ad might do not compose really, but might be more expensive. Most of the time it's more expensive than testing or uh, nigeria like when you test with just lagos but the thing about it is that you can test with lagos and it's cheap okay that means nigeria would be testing using location as the old nigeria would be cheaper okay but all depends on you so that is just how you run that so you leave this gender you can it depends on what products you're doing like the age but you can always leave this broad gender if the product is for male and female you can always did this then this is um detailed targeting now under this detailed targeting basically if you you could leave it empty so if i'm telling you to run no interest okay so get this down if i'm telling you to run no interest that means that you are leaving this detailed targeting empty okay but if i'm telling you to run interest that means you are filling this up you are filling this up with something relating to your product like if you are running um a skincare product now you can click on when you type skincare you can see skincare here so once you click on it you want to click on these suggestions here you see natural skincare you can see beauty you can see beautiful skin so these are people interested in these stuffs facial so you want to click about 10 interests when I say run your ad with interest, okay, you can test two campaigns. So what we're creating is a campaign. You can test two campaigns. You can test one with no interest. You can test one with interest. So interest, you will mostly see interest regarding anything. If it's even weight loss, if you type weight loss into here, 
you can you will see it but basically if you're confused about what interest to use like what interest to use to um generate your suggestions like you don't know what to type in first like if you're selling like kids tablet or what you can even type in tablet okay let's see tablet computers okay let's look at it so you can see ipad laptops these blah 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 mobile devices software consumer electronics so you'll be able to see once you click on this suggestion after typing one main interest you click on this suggestion you will see more so you want to put a total of five to ten interest into that box that is if you are going to run with interest but as i'm if you're not running with interest you just leave this empty both works whether you run with interest or not uh, most of the time i run both campaigns i run with interest and no interest at the same time okay so placement is automatic i leave it automatic placement then optimization and ad delivery you want to go to show more options you want to make sure you change conversion window conversion window is what do the people you want to drag into your site what duration do you want them to convert so we edit this and we change it to one day after clicking okay so that between the 24 hours of clicking our ads we don't want them to convert so we change this to one day after clicking okay so that's what you do this is setting the ad set level so this is the ad set level you should set all these things once you get to the ad set level in the campaign level what you're doing is creating um campaign budget optimization in the ad set level, you're setting your location, your conversion event, conversion window. So you could watch this video and make sure that everything I did under this ad set level, you do it on your own ad set level. Okay. So going to the ads level. So the main thing to do in the ads level, because I won't be running this ad, is to um, basically what you want to do is first you want to select a Facebook page. That's the first thing you want to do. So depending on what you are, your, your main page, you can create a Facebook page. Okay. If you have an Instagram account linked, you can put that, but it's not compulsory. Whether you put an Instagram account or not, your ad is going to run on both Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So this is not compulsory. So once you do that, the next thing you want to do is, um, the format ad set format is choosing single image or video. You're going to see that even in your own stuff i'm going to turn on preview so the next thing you want to do is to upload your video so under media you click on add media you click add video so once you click on video you click on upload so you could upload any video you are using to run ads here okay so after you do that the next thing you want to do is primary text this is your ad copy okay so technically this is how to create this is I, I write my ad copy in the simplest way let's say you are selling um maybe a a, a cream now okay you're selling a cream let's say um glow body cream so i will just put glow body cream this is how i write it so you could Follow that. It's very simple. So, um, if it's acne, I put pimples, I put clear skin. Make sure it is as simple as possible because you do not want Facebook to flag whatever you are doing. Okay. Okay. Um, so glow body cream this then i put up to 10 percent off put up to 10 percent off today only okay then i put pay on delivery you could put your price there uh, if you want to pay on delivery plus free shipping then i put c here so you could just copy my template c here so all this um stuff that new pimples is not really compulsory if you're selling a um 
you could just put the name of the product, put up to 10% off only, pay on delivery plus free shipping, CEA, CEA. So most of the time I did, I use emojis for my stuff. Um, let me just, something like this. I just put emojis too, but it's not really that compulsory. But if you, this is just because if you want to do this, okay, what you just need to do is go to um, just search Facebook Pili app. Can you see what I typed? Pili app, okay? Facebook Pili app. Oh my God. The Pili app symbol. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure the the um Wi-Fi is still logged in. Facebook Pili app. Okay. So just search that on Google, you would see a page to copy emojis. Okay. So so see here now, what you want to do is to paste. This is not your you're not pasting your thank you page, please. Okay. You are not You are not pasting your thank you page. I said your product is slash um, blue cream. So you are pasting your product page link here. Okay. So you copy, you paste it twice. So the CF will be twice. Okay. So the CA will be twice. So you can see this is the format I use for my own um, for my own um, ads. Okay. So the name of the product of the ten percent of pay on delivery plus free shipping. You could put an emoji of like this, like this. There. So what you guys just have to do is once you learn this, I've told you everything this is the final step to starting to test products okay it is now you begin to know what you want to do in the industry how many products it's just this simple this is the simple step to running at so I would, the remaining part of the class will be from now on to be practical that means everybody should be able to before you come and ask questions you to have tested the product then i can advise on okay how many units you bring in how to sell it off, how to do this, how to. So it's this simple, it's this simple, okay? So after you do this, from this next class now, I believe people that have created their product pages, their videos should begin to start to run ads and start to, okay, share their own screenshot of how their ads performed, you know, how their ads performed between the period of 12 to 24 hours test that they ran, okay? Then we can advise on units. So once you do this, the next thing you want to make sure you do is under this website URL, it's important that you input the product page, which is supposed to be this page. So your product page link, make sure you input it on that website URL, okay? So after you input it, let me upload. I'm not, let me add, uh, see if I can see a video that is short but that is unlikely well let me let me use a picture okay please once you're doing you use a video i'm just going to use a picture so you could see um so let me say i use this So your video should be the one showing here, not this picture. I'm not showing it so you can see the um, the template, okay? So you should, it's showing page not found because this is not a real product page, okay? But your page should be showing here. Okay, so once you click on this, put this link, what you want to do is make sure you change this call to action to shop now. 
okay shop now is what you want to have there so you can see this is what you want to have something like this booked up so that is your ad so once you're done with that this is what you want to do under the ads level so once you're done with that what you click on is publish okay once you publish there's one more thing you want to do is duplicate so you just click on publish once you're done with this click on publish so we're going to we're going to close this and i'm going to first delete this and show you um so once you click on publish you would have a campaign like um let me delete this because it's not a re-add okay you have your campaign shown like this let me turn this on Let me turn this on. So you have your campaign like this, the straight line on that campaign, you have a straight line like this, or you will have in review, okay? In review would be what you have here. But you will see that what you're showing is on that campaign. So what you want to do is you select the campaign. You have to watch this clearly and watch this video when you are about to duplicate so that you do it right, okay? You select the campaign, click on this ad set. We're going to the ad set level. This is what we call the ad set level. Tap on this, you will enter into and then that is the ad set. You select the ad set, okay? You tap the ads level, okay? You tap the ads level. So you want to duplicate this ad. You know, I tap the campaign, tap the ad set, and tap the ads level, okay? So when you get to the ads level, you select the ads level, you click on duplicate. So we want to duplicate this into one more copy to make it two ads, okay? So you click on one, click on duplicate, so once you click on duplicate, you will get your page like this. All you just need to do is click on publish. You don't need to change anything. Okay. So you can see under this ads level, we currently have two ads. So this is campaign level, ad set level, and ads level. Under this ad level, we have two ads. Okay. So on, we will now go back to the ad set level. Yeah. And we'll make sure that our ad set we want to create two more we want to make it one campaign three ad sets and six ads okay so we have duplicated the ads into two so we have one one two so what we want to do is to go to the ad set level and duplicate it into two more i don't know if you get this just click on the ad set level change this to two click on duplicate so you might, if you can't get this, just watch this video. Um, so you click on publish. Okay, so. So this does did not publish because um it's saying the budget is too small. But you won't have this issue just because I'm using this um stuff. So at the end of the day, this is what you want to have. You have three ad sets here. Okay, then under ads level, we have six ads. This is what you want to have. So when I say you do your ads in the ratio one three six, this is it. Watch this. So you have one campaign. Three ad sets and six ads. Please, are we? Hope we are. Sorry. You should have one. Once I say do your campaign in the ratio one, three, six. That means one campaign, three ad sets, and six ads. So that is the how you would duplicate it. Okay. If I say do your campaign the ratio one five ten, that is one campaign. You should see it here. One campaign, five ad sets and ten ads. Okay. Are we getting this? So you can rewatch this over and over. Okay. 
to be able to understand how exactly you should duplicate. But once you're testing your campaign, you should duplicate in one campaign, three ad sets and six ads, okay? So I'm going to delete um, this ones. So once you do that, you should see in review. After in review, you should see active. So once your campaign is active, you can start to get your sales to your email. So that will be the final stuff for this class before we begin practical. So from here, you should be able to do everything. That means to the testing level. And that is the first set of, that is our first session before we get into practical. The next level will be importing and um, scaling, and that will be the sales level. But this is everything you need to start to test your product. So if you have questions, please drop in the chat box. So we'll finish now because we're done. We are done. If you have questions, please drop in the chat box. So um, the recap video will be dropped tonight so you can begin to run your ads. I know a lot of people have waited for this session to be able to start their ads and everything. So now you can set up your pixel, set up your custom conversion, run your test ads so you can begin to shoot that immediately, okay? Okay, okay. If you have any questions, drop in the chat box. So I will be trying to upload this video quickly so um, you can have it to be watched and start to run your test ads, okay? So um, I want to see this um, weekend slash between this week and next week, I want to see people coming with screenshot of how many sales they have gotten from their test ads. I want to see that screenshot. I want to see that because that is basically what we're here for. Action, 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 action. Okay, action, 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 action. So if you're not taking action, that will be on you. No success can come except you take the action. Okay, so I'm waiting for questions. Waiting for questions. Okay. So if there are no questions, I would, that will be the end of the class for today. Um, so I'll be exporting the videos and sending the link to the class. So you can begin. Thank you so much for taking your time today. So we'll begin practicals from now. Thank you.